Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat, and today, today's a good day. I don't know why it's a good day, but today is a good day. Maybe just because I feel accomplished today. I got videos up and edited today. I have my blog going correctly the way I want to, so I feel like today is a very freaking good day. And today, because it's a good day, it's today is a book review day. I am doing a review on Shadow Study by Maria V. Snyder. So, a quick story. So, I was given the Poison Study series by Maria V. Snyder from my sister. Well, borrowed, but I've kept them for quite a few years. I don't know if she forgot that I had them or something. But I was given to them by my sister, and I fell in love with them. The characters are absolutely amazing. The two main characters are Lena and Valk, and it's just, they're simply amazing, and I honestly, at the end of the third book, Fire Study, I, I accepted that the series ended, I accepted that this is how the author ended it, but I always felt like there could be more, that there could be more stories behind Yelena and Valk, and not even just Yelena and Valk, but Ixia and Satya, the two countries that are by each other, that could be a whole story in itself, like, I just felt in my heart and in my gut that there could be just so much more. And so when I found out that Maria V. Center was going to create a spin-off of the Poison Study series, I was, I was just so happy because I was like, oh my god, like, she's going to continue the story of Yelena and Val. And she did, and it is the spin-off, and the spin-off is Shadow Study. I would definitely suggest reading the first um, series, the actual series, before you get into the Shadow Study. The Shadow Study was given to me as a review copy to review for an honest opinion. I was given it to by the author. So we're gonna get into this opinion. So first, I would like to say is that this book has a map, guys. And we all know just how much I love my maps because maps are simply amazing. Not only because I feel like I so I understand what the author wants to the the country to look like, but I just like referencing back to it. I'm like, okay, where are they? Like, I will flip literally from the back, like, where are they now? Where are they? Like, I need to know where they are, guys. And so, I, my math obsession, I swear to God, I have a severe math obsession in books. I just don't understand why. But you're probably like, how are you gonna get on with the characters and the plot? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, okay. So there are three main point of views in this book. It is Yelena's point of view, the main character. There's Valak, her heartmate's point of view. And then there's Jonko. And Jonko is Yelena's best friend from the Poison Study series. And I loved Jonko. He is a smart ass in every single way. He is a funny to go lucky guy. He's obviously an assassin because he was trained by Valak. But he is just too fun, and I absolutely just loved him. And so for me to be able to read his point of view in Shadow Study was absolutely amazing. He is a great character. You definitely see his character grow. Even though he doesn't become more serious, he definitely fills out. I guess that would be the correct words. He fills out. And he just brings the book together. He brings all the characters together, and he breaks that tense moment. He is like your icebreaker and that's probably why I really love him. Then you have Elena who in the beginning she's had a rough start in life. She really didn't have a great background. She was put in prison and then you know became the poison taster and from there she just had a downhill and you would think that after eight years that things would go back to normal but they don't. She ends up being attacked on the way to her cabin. In this whole process, she ends up losing her powers. She ends up losing her magic, and she's put into this state of vulnerability, and she sets off on an adventure to not only find out what happened to her magic, why is it blocked, why does she feel empty inside, and why. And then she's also looking for the person that is an old enemy that somehow is not only is he alive, but he also escaped. And so she is out on this journey, and then you have Valak, who's all the way across in Ixia, who's dealing 
not only with his own past issues, which you will definitely see, you get to see a lot of Valak's past in there. Whereas in, in the Poison City, it was more of Yelena's past. Shadow City is definitely all about Valak's past and how he got to where he is, and it's connected to him and the commander, as the commander is the ruler of Ixia, and then obviously the Insidia where the magic resides in council. So this book is definitely full of adventures. That is for sure. The plot I enjoyed. It's it is it was a really good plot. There were parts that I could felt that could have been spruced up a little bit more. I mean, I didn't push myself to read the book because I absolutely love this book. It was it was simply amazing. Like this this author could write a million stories. The plot is stressful because you don't know where it's going to take you. And when I read the ending, guys, whew, you know what? I just didn't know what to think. Honestly, this ending, this ending, I just want her to write the next book so I can be like, what the hell? What the hell? Like, what? Mind blown, people. I was simply mind blown to this ending. I honestly suggest this book. It comes out February 24th, and 2015. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. Remember to like this video and also comment if you have read this series. I want to know what you thought of it. And if you are looking forward to Shadow Study, tell me. Tell me what you are excited about so then I, I can be excited with you and just, whoa, I can be just so excited with you. Also, remember that I have a $15 book depository giveaway that is going to be ending in 10 days. So remember to sign up for that. The link is going to be below. It is $15 from the book depository store and it is worldwide as long as it ships to you. So remember to look into the book depository store and see if that book depository does ship to you. Also guys, remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys at my next video. Bye bye! So this is my Hunger Games bookmark that I drew. There's like, there's the symbol. And then I was in the Lord of the Rings mood, so there's the other bookmark that I drew. Isn't it beautiful?